Hi guys, today we want to give you an update on like our training of me staying home alone or in a room alone as a puppy and we want to share some tricks with you that have helped us so much. So our last update has already been some time ago, I think back in February and since then we've made so much progress. Even though we're not pros at like me staying at home, still I made a lot of progress and we just want to share that with you. So the first thing that we already shared in our video back in February is that the training of like my parents just going in and outside of a room and like closing the door in front of me has worked wonders for us. Even though it might sound silly if you do that like 20 times a day, but that just like gets your puppy to know or your dog to know that it's okay if the door closes and I as a dog have to stay inside. So my parents still do that with me often. And in the beginning, the door was closed for maybe 10 seconds. And now it can be even like minutes or up to an hour. So we're really happy with that progress and just like trust in the process and keep on doing that. If you also have troubles with your dog or your puppy staying home alone, because like that, I just learned that it's the most boring thing that my parents just like enter a room and leave it again and I can just stay in there and it's fine. So that's basically our first tip that you do that and that you just gradually increase the time from like seconds to minutes to maybe eventually even an hour. The second thing that we've tried but it didn't really work for us and we just like tried it in case there is an improvement and there is a progress my parents left me alone in the apartment and just like thought that they would see whether I would calm down because when they leave the house I might stay calm for like 30 seconds to a minute but then I start to cry I start to bark and I do not stop like literally I do not stop and there's like no effect like they left me alone for maybe 10 to 15 minutes and there was no improvement I just like got even more hectic and more panicked so they came back and that's something that we haven't done anymore because there was no improvement so that's something we cannot recommend but maybe it's just like because me as a puppy I'm not like functioning well with that if they just like leave me alone and try that I get used to it but maybe you have other opinions or experiences with that so leave a comment if you do have and then we have another trick that we've been doing and we've been incorporating in our training. And that's actually new because of our dog trainer and she teached us that. So what we did is that my parents left me alone in another room and they left me on a leash in the beginning. So the doors were open. So for example, my dad left me in the living room on a leash in my dog bed. And then he went into another room and left the door open as well and maybe like read a book or did some work on his laptop and whenever I started to cry a little or to bark he clapped in his hand and said aloud hey and then I stopped immediately because I was like shook and then he said oh you're doing great you're doing a good job well done and then like I was calm and whenever I started to cry again he clapped again and said hey and then when I was quiet, he, he praised me for being quiet. And that's how we gradually increased the time of like me staying alone in another room for to like, I think up to a half an hour in the beginning. And now I can even stay home alone or like stay alone in a room uh, for like up to one hour or two hours even. And my parents just can work in another room. So that's something that we're doing every day now because like that through the distance in our everyday life they hope that I also get used to them leaving the house at one point because that's something that's still very hard for me but it is easy for me already to be alone in another room and back in February that was like not possible at all like by now I really really sleep in another room and we're very very happy about that and that's already such an improvement for us. 
And another thing that we wanted to update you guys on, because that's oftentimes like the same thing, like staying home alone and also having like separation anxiety when we're outside. Because, for example, when we're in a restaurant and my mom wants to go to the bathroom, I cannot deal with that. And I mean, it's like basically the same situation. She leaves me either home alone or out in public alone. So it's definitely difficult for me. And that's also something that we've learned through our dog trainer. Um, when my dad, for example, goes to the bathroom, it's okay. I, I'm like a little bit yeah nervous and i watch him but it's okay but when my mom goes to the bathroom it wouldn't work at all and i would bark and i would cry and i want would want to follow her so what my pet dad does now is that he has my favorite treats and then he gives them to me so he starts to involve me with some exercise even before my mom leaves he basically shows me the treat and says the command wait And then I have to look at him and have to wait. And then he says, okay, and then I'm allowed to get the treat. And like that, I'm so focused and so concentrated that I don't even, I mean, I notice my mom leaving, but it's okay because I'm so focused on the treat. And also I love food. So that's more important than my mom in this moment. So my mom can go to the bathroom and then I can like do this exercises with my dad until my mom returns after like a minute or two minutes. And that works well for us. So if you have the same problem, maybe try this out and let me know how it works for you guys. So basically our conclusion is that it does get better with lots of training and lots of patience. Maybe it's also because I'm growing older. I'm seven months now. And maybe it's also that I realize, okay, I'm always going to be with my parents. Then they never left me alone forever. So maybe that's why it gets better too. But also since we've been training every day, like really every day in small steps. And we really just like took baby steps. So never ever lose hope that you can get better with training and just keep the motivation up and be patient and then it's also gonna be better with you with your separation anxiety and with home alone training and of course we're also gonna keep you updated if we have new information as to what works for us and also if we can manage that I'm gonna stay home alone like fully alone and be calm and sleep and we're gonna keep you updated so subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss that And looking forward to the next video with you guys.